This video will focus on the basics of getting your EDU enterprise started. We will start by setting up your school logo, and then we will create teams and users. First, you need to check that you're signing into the correct address. Standard and professional users use cad.onshape.com, while enterprise users have a unique domain address. Loading in your school logo can be really helpful because it replaces the Onshape logo in your enterprise. Go to Enterprise Settings in the top right, then select Details. Select Change and then navigate to an image file of your school logo. Once you've found it, select Open and then Save. Now you can see your logo in the top left. In most cases, it's easier to add your teams first, then add your users. We recommend you create your teams by class, but you can do it however works for your school. Go to Teams under the Enterprise Settings. Select Create Team. Give your team a name and description and save it. Onshape will automatically open the team so you can add users. We don't have any other users yet, so we will skip this step and create another team. Next, you need to decide what type of sign in you would like to use. You can invite users by email or you can set up a single sign-on provider. SSO allows your students to use their existing accounts, so there aren't any more passwords to memorize. Additionally, if your students can't receive emails from outside the domain, this eliminates the need to send email invitations. Go to Authentication in your Enterprise Settings. Select Configure SSO Provider. In this example, we will use Google as the provider. With Google, you have the option to whitelist a domain. This means anyone in your domain can register an account. You can also disable Onshape password sign-in, which would prevent your users from accidentally logging into cad.onshape.com. Before selecting that option, take note of the admin sign-in page. Now we're ready to add users. If you've whitelisted your domain or have an auto-provisioning SSO, you do not have to do this step. However, it can be useful to make sure your users are added to the appropriate teams. In the Enterprise settings, go to Users and select Invite Users. You can type in one or more addresses and send the invitation. If you import a CSV, you can import users and assign them to teams at the same time. Select Import from CSV at the top right corner and download the template. Open it in Excel and fill each user's details in. Make sure the role is set to Member and Guest is set to No for each of them. If you already have a spreadsheet of emails, you can paste them in to make this part easier. Once you're done, go back to Onshape and import the file. You can import as many CSVs as you need to. If you choose not to use CSVs, don't forget to go back and add your users to the teams. Also, don't forget to add teachers to the class teams. In this video, we discussed how you can add your school logo, teams, and users. For more information on these topics, go to the Onshape Learning Center. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.